Here it is, folks, the Great White Whale, the Stormtrooper of DSLRs. This is the Pentax KX, and if you are a beginner and you're looking for your first DSLR, you should not leave this item off the menu. First off, let's take a look at the body. The Pentax KX is about the same size as most entry-level DSLRs. One thing to take note of is the fact that it runs on four AA batteries, um, as opposed to a rechargeable lithium battery. It records pictures and videos to SDHC cards, a 2.7 inch LCD in the back, and a pretty typical control panel. We only get a rear mounted control dial as opposed to front and back. It has a pretty well stocked mode dial, including a lot of options for beginners. The viewfinder is optical, it also gives you a display of the shutter speed, aperture, and light meter. And this wouldn't be a Pentax without the green button which you can customize to any of your favorite uh, manual controls. There's a quick exposure button. We also have a manual and autofocus switch. This camera ships with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. We found the glass to be high quality. The Pentax KX is capable of live view, but be careful because it'll drain your batteries like something fierce. Now let's talk image quality. In this price range, and you could get this camera for between five and $600 online. There are very, very, very few cameras that can contend with the image quality of the Pentax KX, especially in RAW, and you could shoot in RAW plus JPEG, RAW or just JPEG. The KX's APS-C size sensor just cranked out awesome image after awesome image. We were so impressed. And the 720p HD video was actually highly impressive as well. Uh, in fact, people are shooting short films with this camera. Of course, there's quite a gap between the raw quality and the JPEG quality, but there were some instances where we couldn't even tell the difference. In the video mode, you have the option to zoom in while you're recording, which is a little difficult with the DSLR lens. Now let's jump inside the Stormtrooper. The Pentax KX is just chock full of shooting options. First off, when shooting in RAW or JPEG, there are several options that allow you to play with this, the color space, including saturation, hue, contrast, sharpness, that kind of thing. Now, in order to take advantage of the digital filters and the other effects, you have to shoot primarily in JPEG. There's cross-processing, which actually plays with the color hue based on the image information. There are various Photoshop-like in-camera digital filters, like toy camera, high contrast, extract color, but all of these filters can also be applied after you've taken the shot in playback and a couple more, including things like pastel, um, watercolor. The Pentax KX also has an HDR, high dynamic range, capture mode, which basically takes three shots at three different exposure levels and blends the image together into one inside the camera. We found that it's easy to blur edges in HDR mode unless you have the camera mounted to a tripod or you're an extremely steady shot. We were able to shoot very quickly with this camera because the menus are so great in conjunction with the rear control dial. A lot of the times the auto picture mode performance was admirable. And of course the Pentax KX has a full on dedicated manual mode uh, with an ISO that ranges from 100 to 12,800. It has an aperture that can close down to f3.5 and shoot all the way up to 32. We could also go down to a 30 second shutter speed or all the way up to 1 6,000th of a shutter speed. We also have bulb. And if you don't have Photoshop or any kind of image editing software, the in-camera software is excellent. So here it is, the Pentax KX. This is one of the best entry-level DSLR cameras you can buy. It is a steal. For InfoSyncWorld.com, I'm Mike Perlman.